Hey everyone, the president of the National Black Farmers Association has issued a stark warning. Get ready for empty grocery store shelves. I know it sounds like something out of a dystopian movie, right? But this isn't science fiction. Supply chain problems are hitting us hard, and we're talking about shortages of some of the most basic things we rely on. Remember back in 2021 when the whole supply chain thing nearly went off the rails? The University of Illinois did a whole study on it. It was that close to total meltdown. And now, here we are again. But this time, it feels different, more urgent. Global supply chains are stretched thinner than ever, prices are going crazy, and experts are straight up talking about food shortages. So what can we do? Well, burying our heads in the sand isn't an option. We need to be proactive, folks. That's why today, I'm talking about four everyday food items that you need to stock up on now before it's too late. Because trust me, once these things are gone, they're going to be really hard to find. First up, let's talk about a vegetable that's as unassuming as it is delicious, the humble pea. I know, I know, peas might not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think of impending food shortages, but hear me out. Fresh peas, those little green gems that bring a burst of sweetness to any dish, are becoming increasingly difficult to find. And there are a few reasons for this. First off, peas are incredibly sensitive to temperature changes. They thrive in cool climates and have a very short growing season. Any kind of extreme weather event, whether it's a heat wave, a late frost, or even just a few days of heavy rain, can decimate an entire crop. And with climate change making weather patterns more unpredictable, well, you can see where this is going. Then there's the issue of transportation. Peas are delicate little things. They need to be transported quickly and carefully to ensure they reach our plates in pristine condition. But with global supply chains in disarray, delays are becoming more and more common. Trucks are stuck in ports, shipping containers are piling up, and all that waiting around is bad news for perishable foods like peas. And as if that wasn't enough, peas are also facing stiff competition from other crops. With the rising demand for plant-based protein sources, farmers are increasingly dedicating their land to growing things like soybeans and lentils, which are hardier and have a longer shelf life. This means less land is being allocated to growing peas, further contributing to their scarcity. So what does this all mean for you? Well, if you're a fan of fresh peas, now is the time to stock up. Frozen peas are a great alternative, of course, but there's just something special about the taste and texture of fresh peas that you can't quite replicate. So, next time you're at the grocery store, grab an extra bag or two of fresh peas. You'll thank me later. Okay, moving on to a fruit that's as beautiful as it is delicious, the pomegranate. This ancient fruit, with its jewel-toned seeds and tart sweet flavor, has been enjoyed for centuries. But sadly, pomegranates are facing their own set of challenges, making them increasingly difficult to find in our modern world. One major factor is climate change. Pomegranates thrive in warm, dry climates with plenty of sunshine. But as temperatures rise and rainfall patterns become more erratic, traditional pomegranate growing regions are facing increasing challenges. Droughts, heat waves, and unexpected frosts can all damage crops and reduce yields, leading to a decrease in the overall supply of pomegranates. Adding to the pomegranate predicament are international disputes and trade tensions. Many of the world's pomegranates are grown in regions that are politically unstable or engaged in trade disputes. These conflicts can disrupt supply chains, leading to delays and shortages. Tariffs and import restrictions can also make it more expensive to import pomegranates, driving up prices for consumers. And let's not forget about the issue of pests and diseases. Pomegranates are susceptible to a number of pests and diseases, which can decimate crops if left unchecked. The use of pesticides can help to mitigate these risks, but it also raises concerns about environmental impact and potential health risks. Finding a sustainable balance between protecting crops and preserving the environment is an ongoing challenge for pomegranate growers. So, what does this mean for pomegranate lovers? Well, it means that we need to appreciate these ruby red gems while we still can. If you see pomegranates at the store, don't hesitate to grab a few. Their unique flavor and nutritional benefits make them a worthwhile addition to your diet. And who knows, maybe by supporting the pomegranate industry, we can help to ensure that these ancient fruits continue to grace our tables for generations to come. The Chestnut Conundrum Next up, let's delve into the world of nuts, specifically the chestnut. Once a staple food in many parts of the world, chestnuts have faced a dramatic decline in recent history. 
making them a rare and prized treat in many places. But what's behind this chestnut conundrum? The primary culprit is a devastating fungal disease known as chestnut blight. This blight, accidentally introduced to North America in the early 20th century, wiped out billions of American chestnut trees, decimating what was once a dominant species in eastern forests. While efforts are underway to develop blight-resistant chestnut varieties, the disease continues to pose a significant threat to chestnut populations worldwide. Another factor contributing to the scarcity of chestnuts is the limited scale of commercial cultivation. Unlike other nuts like almonds or walnuts, chestnuts are not as widely grown on a commercial scale. This is partly due to the challenges posed by chestnut blight, but also because chestnuts require specific growing conditions and have a relatively short shelf life compared to other nuts. Furthermore, harvesting chestnuts can be labor-intensive. Unlike other tree nuts that fall to the ground when ripe, chestnuts are encased in spiky burrs that need to be carefully removed. This often requires manual labor, making it a more time-consuming and costly process compared to harvesting other types of nuts. So what does this mean for chestnut enthusiasts? Well, it means that we should savor every opportunity we get to enjoy these unique and flavorful nuts whether roasted over an open fire, incorporated into sweet or savory dishes, or enjoyed simply as a snack, chestnuts offer a taste of history and a reminder of the delicate balance of nature. So next time you come across chestnuts at the market, consider yourself lucky and grab a bag to experience their unique flavor and texture. The Great Egg Exodus. And finally, we come to a staple that needs no introduction, the incredible egg. But even this humble kitchen essential isn't immune to the forces affecting our food supply. In fact, the United States is currently facing one of the most severe egg shortages in recent history, and the reasons behind it are complex and concerning. The main driver of this egg exodus is the largest outbreak of avian influenza, or bird flu, that the U.S. has ever seen. This highly contagious virus has ripped through poultry farms across the country, leading to the culling of tens of millions of chickens in an attempt to contain the spread of the disease. The loss of so many egg-laying hens has had a direct and dramatic impact on egg production, leading to empty shelves and skyrocketing prices. But the bird flu outbreak is just one piece of the puzzle. The egg industry, like many other sectors of the food system, is also grappling with the ongoing challenges of supply chain disruptions, labor shortages, and rising input costs. The cost of feeding chickens has skyrocketed due to inflation and the rising cost of grain, which is further squeezing profit margins for egg producers and contributing to higher prices for consumers. And as if that wasn't enough, there's also the issue of consumer demand. Eggs are a versatile and affordable source of protein, and demand typically remains high even during times of economic uncertainty. But with the egg supply dwindling due to the factors mentioned earlier, we're now seeing a situation where demand is outstripping supply, leading to even more empty shelves and frustrated shoppers. So, what does this mean for those of us who rely on eggs as part of our regular diet? Well, it means that we might need to be prepared to make some adjustments. If you're used to having eggs for breakfast every day, you might need to explore alternative options a few times a week. And when you do find eggs at the store, be prepared to pay a premium price. The good news is that there are plenty of other protein-rich foods out there that can help fill the gap. And with a little creativity, we can all navigate this egg shortage without having to give up our favorite egg-based dishes entirely. So, there you have it. Four everyday food items that are becoming increasingly difficult to find. We've got peas struggling with climate change and transportation woes, pomegranates caught in the crosshairs of geopolitics, chestnuts battling back from the brink of extinction and eggs facing the wrath of avian influenza. It's a lot to take in, I know. But here's the thing. Being aware of these challenges is the first step towards finding solutions. Whether it's supporting sustainable farming practices, advocating for fair trade policies, or simply being mindful of our own consumption habits, we can all play a role in creating a more resilient and equitable food system. For now, though, I'd love to hear from you. What other foods have you noticed are becoming harder to find? Let's start a conversation in the comments and share tips on how we can all stay stocked and prepared for whatever challenges the future may hold. Until next time, take care and happy eating.